I don't know how to start this. This is a very weird moment for me. I never thought that Hatsumu Miku, hopefully I'm saying that right, is getting a secret layer. So in this video, we're going to be going through it all, talking about the cards, talking about what they're going to be doing, because there's bigger news than I thought on this, and it's absolutely blowing my mind the way they're doing this. So let's get right onto the video. So out of all these Secret Layer X blank, I never thought a singer pop star that I've only really seen, I know of them, but I've never been like a big fan. The biggest thing I know is that, that Jaden Animations is a big fan. Uh, I may have watched them for years, so again, uh, that's most of my information when it comes to Hatsuku Miku. Again, if I say that wrong, I apologize. But I've seen them around being a big fan of anime and nerdy stuff in general. They are a person that I've seen and know quite, like, I know to see. But if someone played a song, I would not know it was them. But it was dropped on our feet with an email or people spoiling it that they have gotten a secret layer recently. So when it comes to this, hopefully I do well when it comes to talking about this, but with my very, very, very little knowledge of it, I don't really think it's going to be that well, but I will be trying my best. But the good thing is, is Wizards themselves are helping out. So when I went to find out what is Hatsumu Miku, they said, Hatsumu Miku is a music software developed by Crichton Future Media Inc which enables anyone to make their computer sing by entering lyrics and melodies. As a massive number of users created music using the software and post their works on the internet, Hatsumu Miku quickly enveloped into a cultural phenomenon. Since then, Hatsumu Miku has gained much attention as a character involved in many fields such as merchandising and live performance as a virtual singer. And now her popularity has spread across the globe. So in other words, they are huge in their own way without being huge. Now you can be in the views of millions and billions and still not a handful or a large amount of millions of people have seen you because we live in a world with millions and millions and billions of people. So it does make sense that again, not many people have heard about it, but also many people have heard about it. Okay. Very big, and I always find that interesting. Again, like just me, I just hit my first million views, so again, thank you there. But I say there are billions of people that never have heard of me, sadly. But they announced this and also released a video with their new song, Harmonize. I think it's their new song. And I think it's also, they might be planning on doing a performance and with the secret layer as a little demo thing. If you're interested in that, there is going to be a link down below of the whole thing. And there has the video of them singing their new song Harmonize. And then at the end, it shows the secret layer. But in this secret layer, you get Shelter, Sandra's incarnation as Miku Spark, Harmonize, Azusa Lost But Seeking as Miku Lost But Singing, Feather the Redeemed as Miku the Renowned, and Inspiring Vintage. Out of all of these, the only one that I understand and agree with is that their song, and I could be wrong here, is called Harmonize. So they have the card, Harmonize. I'm fine with that. You get a draw, so having a Zooka makes sense. You're able to draw more lands, play more lands. That makes sense to me. I'm not a big fan of Azusa getting a second uh, Secret Layer reprint because there was one a year or two ago, and again, with how many cards there are and how many people are requesting cards. There is a lot of cards that they could be making secret layers of. So the fact that they're using the same ones over and over again is kind of weird and annoying to me. And then there's Feather, again, great commander, white, red, again, weird, especially with the two green cards. Okay, I'm not gonna argue there. Sandra's incarnation, again, makes sense with Feather, but doesn't make sense why it's with the other two. And then there's a land. I'm fine with them making a secret layer that has a land with it, but the fact that the land has literally just been reprinted less than six months ago, I think, when the Doctor Who stuff came out, you could have got it on that secret layer. So I find the kind of combination cards don't make sense. The only thing I could think of is if they have songs that are roughly the same or the name of songs on their new album or whatever they're trying to promote with this at the same time. But again, there's no way they have a song called Azura, but they might have a song called Lost But Seeking. So again, I don't really know that. 
So in my opinion, the card selection is a little weird. However, I'm gonna put a little pin on that just for now. When you come to buy these, they're either $29.99 or $39.99 in dollars. I haven't seen the European price yet, so I can't really help there, but I assume it's gonna be the same as all the others that have been. They're usually roughly the same price ranges. You can buy these in English or Japanese. Again, makes sense. It's more for uh, if you are a huge, huge fan of the, uh, these cards and you want to help and support getting them. It's mainly a Japanese thing. So again, having them in Japanese makes sense, but then having them in English for the people that they want to use the cards but cannot read Japanese does make sense. So I do find it is good that they come in both languages. I also hope they do a deal for someone that wants to use the cards but also keeps them. So I hope there's a dual language like deal as well, but only time will tell. But then a post that I seen online that I completely skipped until after I started recording this and then realized I don't have to do this, but I will anyway. Uh, a friend of mine, Attack on Cardboard, posted that this is gonna be one of four. When I seen this, I literally just skimmed past everything, seeing the images, so before I was making the video, and I already asked them, could I use the image that they posted on their Twitter? So go give them a follow on Twitter and on YouTube as well. But I just thought it would be a cool thing to say, and then I realized it's in the thing, but I was like, no. I asked, I personally asked them, can I use their image? And they said, yeah, so here we are. So the fact that this is one of four, that's why I'm saying put a pin on the previous ones because hopefully the other ones make more sense. Now this might end up being a Wooberg thing, but it'll be really cool to see like more green cards that work well with the previous two and then more red and white cards that work well with the previous three cards and possibly a land that does somewhat similar in the other colors. So after the fall, you have majority of the lands and good cards that go well with them. But finally, if you are a fan of Hatsune Miku, again, I'm kind of interested, but I don't know where to start. Link me anything, talk about it in the comments down below. If you're gonna buy this secret layer or not, or what makes you wanna buy it, let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, remember to like and subscribe and all that youtube -y stuff, but as always, I have the previous video here, a playlist of Magic the Gathering stuff, is it worth it type of stuff here, and a subscribe button here, and I will see you all in the next video.